Hi, I'm Mary O'Toole from the LightWithinWellness.com, and I want to share some information with you today about my upcoming yoga teacher training that's starting soon. It's a 200-hour yoga teacher training program that's registered with the Yoga Alliance, and it's a curriculum that's approved by the Yoga Alliance. This is the same program that I took way back in 2007. Uh, myself so I know what it's like to be a student of this program I'm so excited that I'm actually now able to share this with you and be a leader and offer you a way of connecting to yourself deeper than you've ever experienced in your life and maybe even share your knowledge and your teaching with others who are waiting for you to become their light their connection and their way of stepping into yoga in a way they've never experienced before. I started my own yoga journey in 2004 when I was so stressed I didn't know what to do. I've always been an anxious person by nature but this just threw me over the edge. My husband was deployed to Iraq and I didn't know what to do. I knew that if I went to see my doctor because I wasn't sleeping that he'd provide sleeping pills and then deep down within myself, I knew that wasn't the path I wanted to take. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that path. I just knew it wasn't for me. So at a suggestion of a coworker, I decided to try yoga. And I started a home yoga practice by a DVD that I had purchased, or it's actually a videotape, I had purchased a long, long time before I even thought of doing yoga. For some weird reason, I picked this up. And I decided to try and do yoga a little bit and see how that would work for me. And I know the first couple of times I tried this home practice, I hated it. I thought it was boring. I just, I said to myself, yoga is not for me. But for some strange reason and unknown to myself, and I still can't figure out to this day why I continued to try this yoga practice. So I did, and I remember one night, I remember the beginning of the practice, the end of the practice. I have no way, of, I, I don't know where I went in the middle. But I felt amazing. I felt clear. I felt relaxed. I slept so well that night, I could not believe it. And as I continued my yoga practice, my eating habits changed for the first time in my life. You see, I always fluctuated weight. I had three different clothes sizes in my closet from when I would really focus and be healthy to starting to gain a little bit of weight to my heaviest. And that's how I was my whole life. But when I started the yoga, and now I know the yoga helped me deal with stress and an emotional eater, my weight balanced out. And not alone did my weight balance out, I wanted to eat healthy and it was effortless. So when I decided to find a local yoga studio, I noticed they offered yoga teacher training. And I had no intentions of ever teaching yoga. It wasn't something that was conscious in my head where I'm going to become a yoga teacher. I just noticed the training and I felt a pull towards the training. It felt like the right pace and it felt like I could do it. So. Again, I wasn't trying to become a yoga teacher, but for some strange reason had this draw to this training. And with the support of my husband, I decided to jump in and try it. The first three months of the training, I wanted to quit. I'm like, I'm not a yoga teacher. I am the least likely person to do yoga or even become a teacher. My body was out of alignment. My body cracked and made strange noises in yoga classes as it moved. And people would look around at me going, are you okay? And I was fine. It's just my body was holding so much tightness. And that, I mean, touching my toes or sitting in easy sitting, yoga sitting that we call easy sitting, wasn't easy for me because my hips were so tight. So as I discovered and went deep and started that journey inward, I discovered ways to support my body in poses. It may not look like the... The student next to me that might be very flexible but I discovered how to support my body with props with different alignment 
and aligning in my in my poses and I discovered that everybody can do a version of yoga so as my journey began in yoga teacher training the first three months I wanted to quit but something flipped and changed and I don't even know what shifted for me after three months but after that I was so fully committed into the program it was a nine-month program again it was a 200 hour teacher training it was a commitment financially and time but at the end of the program I discovered I was a natural yoga teacher I was a natural teacher I loved to teach yoga and I attract people into my classes that would say themselves they never thought that we could do yoga I have a variety of people I welcome people with limited limitations in their body or people who are very athletic and flexible and very advanced in the yoga practice because I offer something different to them but if I had never stepped into that yoga teacher training I would have never discovered my ability to connect with people to share knowledge, to share ways for them to enhance their lives and work with their body and work with their body limit with their limitations and see them no longer as limitations but there's always a way to work around it. So if this yoga teacher training which is the same exact training that I took that I'm now teaching speaks to you I encourage you to sign up take the first step if you have questions, please reach out to me. I'm happy to answer it. Sit down with you and have a discussion about what your intentions are and why you might be wanting to join this program. I understand it's not for everyone, so we need to connect to make sure this is the right program for you. So I hope you can join me. More information will be available soon. And check out my website, thelightwithinwellness.com, for more information on this upcoming 200-hour yoga teacher training. I hope you join me. Thank you for your time. Talk to you soon.